Hello Capricorn, I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is your September 2016 reading, and as always, you can use it for your sun sign, for your moon, and for your rising. We'll begin this with channeled information. Uh, so in addition to pulling cards, I meditate on each sign before and get some information just from intuition. And the main bit of information for you that I received was a need to find inner strength, to, to find some tenacity, and really be able to push forward and do whatever it is that needs to be done this month. Just knowing that, you know what, you already have the inner strength the inner courage, the inner skills to make things happen, to see them through to fruition. So even if you aren't always encouraged or if you lack a little bit of internal confidence, self-confidence, um, allow this to be the push that you need to go into the right direction, okay? Let's shuffle the cards now and see what additional insights are coming through for Capricorn. Uh, this month when I pull the Catalyst card, which I will grab right after this, we're going to focus it on what your learning lesson is this month. And the reason I sort of chose that as, as the focus is that many people are going back to school or have children that are going back to school. And I thought it'd be really nice to try to give everybody a similar message of learning or opportunity to sort of gain knowledge, basically, whether it's through course of action or to understand something more in your life. So let's see what that is for you. Right at the center, even as I'm looking at these cards, I see the Hierophant. So um, definitely spiritual growth can happen this month. And so we had a reversal of your Catalyst card, which is the scales. And the scales can indicate a lack of balance in your life and a needing to find that since it was reversed. It can also show that really your learning opportunity this month is sort of justice and a, 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 trying to find areas where you can bring things into focus and into balance. So uh, for some of you, wasted opportunities, a chance to kind of go back, pick up things that you've put up, you know, put aside and think, okay, I'll, I'll finally get to this someday. This is a month to sort of take, take ownership over what you need to do to bring balance in your life. So that could be getting healthier, eating healthier. It could be you know, spending more time with your family. It could just be getting more sleep. Uh, there's a lot of things that could throw the scales out of balance. For those of you that are s seeking to sort of like learn more, this is showing a great time to, to look at uh, anything that has to do with social justice, justice in and of itself, the law. So uh, there's, this is a great time to learn more and to make an impact, to get politically active. We know that at least here in the States, there's an election happening soon. Maybe it's a great time to uh, to get more politically active, if that's something that you'd like to do. All right, so now let's look at the cards and see what the tarot cards want to show for this month. Um, your center card is the, the five, of, five of Cups, and what I'm looking at for this is an opportunity to, to free yourself of any sort of sadness or blame that you might have been putting onto your own person or to other people in your life. Um, pointing fingers, not very constructive, and it's not going to help you. So this is saying acknowledge uh, negative, negative situations in your life and then find a way to release and move on. The Hierophant is showing that it's a very good month for spiritual growth, uh, for also trying to pick your battles when it comes to any sort of difficult conversations that you might want to have. The Hierophant usually shows two people that are bowing to her or to him. And uh, what I would say with this is there may be some authority figures in your life that are very difficult to deal with. This month, it may not be worth engaging in any sort of argument or dispute if you can avoid that. When I look at your deep past, I'm pleased with the work that you've been doing on building your investments and trying to get a little bit more financially stable. Um, or at the very least understanding what you need to have to sort of get get where you want financially and just, just to keep yourself from having to worry about money so much. Maybe it's just taking ownership of I have to pay this off or you know I'm going to need to take a loan for this or whatever it is. But keep up the work, continue to educate yourself and don't don't show any fear when it comes to digging into new things, whether it is, you know, learning about tax laws or learning about, you know, how to sort of maximize your 
returns on investments. It's, it's a time where we talked about education is key. I would say feel free to give yourself the tools that you need here. Now, the really good news that I see here is as we sort of look at your recent history, it looks like a lot of you are on the path to more success, particularly success in school and work. And unlike the normal three of wands where there's a person gazing out into the distance, I see a lot of you are already actively involved in moving on to something else. So if there was dissatisfaction with your job, you're already finding a way to get somewhere else or to think of other things or you're working on your resume. And if you haven't, what I would say is the quicker you can act, you might be surprised at how quick the return is on whatever effort you put out there. So if you threw out a SOS, it would come back really quickly this month or the energy is supporting a faster turnaround on any energy in, the, uh, in your arena for work. So try not to lose momentum and that's supported by this very unusual but one of my favorite chariot cards because this is showing the actions already happening. It's one of the only times you're going to see the chariot from the back rather than coming towards you. So there is a need to, if you aren't already taking action in your life, at school, or in work, or any area where you want to see improvement, uh, don't miss your connecting flight, is what this card is saying. So act quickly. Uh, the other thing that is happening here is, I don't want you to feel immediately let down or disappointed when you hear this and think, oh my God, I'm behind, how am I gonna catch up? This is saying, try to avoid the dramatics. It's, an, it's also a very atypical Ten of Swords. Normally the swords are in the back. This time you see them coming. You can avoid it. You do not have to be a martyr like this. Um, there are signs along the way. Uh, make sure that you're looking up and looking around, not just on a sort of symbolic sense, but uh, literally looking around at the people that are in your life, the situations that are in your life, and see what it is that's, you know, are, are they truly supporting you or is this truly making you happy? Um, because if it's not, this is saying it could, it could manifest itself in the heart, not just the heart chakra, but as hypertension, as high blood pressure, as cholesterol, as, as things that are going to sort of clog up your, um, your blood and all the organs that work with that. So I really want you to pay close attention to your stress and how you can reduce it because if you do, you can completely avert that and be freer and be open to use your energy for other things. As we look at your present state of mind, you've been doing well. I really want to kind of compliment many of you. It seems like you're either getting a better understanding of what you need, what money's function is in your life, and then how to save, spend, and see the opportunities everywhere. Um, I really like this illustration for the Ten of Coins or the Ten of Pentacles because what it's saying to you is money's everywhere. If you, if you know where to look and if you know how to grow it and, and how to sort of like appreciate it and, and, and not see it as a disposable sort of thing. So recognize your own self value as well. If you notice the coins are all over this gentleman. So what this is telling me for you is self worth. You need to work on that. If you see it, others will see it as well. With the Six of Wands, um, those of you that are looking to make a major shift in your life, perhaps you're looking to start dating, you might be looking, like I said, for a new job or to move, the opportunities that are presented to you are myriad. There are many, and I feel like you are going to have to choose. There's going to be difficult options um, in front of you. Sometimes it's easier if you only have a couple, but I think that the closer that you can get to having clarity on what you're looking for, the easier your decision-making process will be. Now, as I said, there may be a need for many of you to just uh, step away from something major. Justice reversed invariably means letting go of something. And this particular justice was situated between the Ace of Cups here the, and also the Six of Wands. So. If we look at Ace of Cups, which by the way is your outcome, it is reversed as well. This is saying that for those of you that are in a sort of stagnant relationship, it could be a work, friend, or love relationship, um, but if it's weighing you down, this is a chance for you to let go, to move on. And it will be you that's doing it most likely, not the other person, although that can still happen. Um, but this is much more active because justice was reversed, which it's showing you doing it here. So um, if you're not happy, 
this is your time to start to think about like, do I want to spend the rest of my life with this person? Um, do I want to, to retire at this company? Uh, and then also, because we're looking at so much with the heart, I really want you to pay attention to if, if there's any history of hypertension, heart disease, blood pressure issues, you really want to go and get that checked out this month and do everything you can to eat smart for your heart. There you go, it's, it rhymes. But I want you to really try to lower your cholesterol um, you know, and any sort of intake that's going to clog up or slow down your ability to have like a healthy heart and a healthy blood chemistry. Uh, let's see what else is coming through for you. For some of you, the justice card in reverse can indicate difficulties with uh, legal action. Uh, you might be being sued, you might be litigating, uh, you're involved in a litigation with someone else. And what this is saying is you're going to really need some good representation to uh, make things happen. So make them happen in the way that you want them to happen, I should say. So uh, challenges with, with law this month, and I would say if you can avoid taking anyone to court or having to e execute on any sort of contract, I would wait. Wait until this month is over um, and probably until the end of next month as well. Uh, otherwise, as far there's not a lot of other relationships that are coming through here. Uh, I would say this is really a month to focus on working on confidence and focusing on happiness at work, work and relationships, um, existing relationships. And uh, if you again, if you want to date, it's a you, you might have a lot of luck, you know, seeing many different people. But I'm not seeing one that that goes into a serious direction, at least not this month. With the Ace of Cups at the end, however. There is a chance that moving into the following month, so we're looking at September, this would be October. October could be a little bit more beneficial for you. Let's now expand the forecast and take a look at health, wealth, love, and destiny, and we might get a little bit more clarification on those items, uh, particularly love. But we'll start first with health. And this card wants to be seen. Um, so this is going really nicely with the it's a basically spiritual note this month for those of you that do not have a spiritual practice either because you're atheist or just because it doesn't feel right for you um, what this is saying is alternative treatments could be very helpful for you this month so this includes things like uh, acupuncture acupressure just taking time each day to do something that relaxes you I want you to somehow disengage and find a way to connect uh, to a higher level of consciousness. It doesn't mean that you have to think of God in the traditional sort of way that everyone does. The universe is, I see everything as universal energy. It's not like some entity or deity up in the sky. It's a creative force that runs through everything. Uh, and so what you, all you need to do to sort of open up spiritually, it can be as easy as you know, working your hands in the ground and gardening. Uh, it can include something like spending time with your son or daughter. Uh, it could be creating, if you like clothing, you could be creating an item of clothing or, you know, cooking. Some sort of creative energy. Creativity and love are sort of like universal languages of the universe, uh, of God, really. So when you, when you in, uh, engage with either something that's creative or you show love and affection towards something, you're connecting with God and you're meditating. Um, but for those of you that are religious, any form of religion is fine. Jesus is just an avatar. So uh, what this is saying is spiritual activities are really good for you this month. So if you like going to church or temple or mosque, then make time for that this month. And if you uh, just feel like a connection through writing or something creative, make time for that as well. Let's take a look at wealth and career. So in your wealth sector, we have illumination. And so much as I was saying at the beginning, the more you can educate yourself on anything that you're afraid of or anything that you don't know about, the better you're going to be. This is a month for taking a certification, learning, watching educational shows on TV or, or looking at YouTube videos that 
talk about investments, that talk about you know money. This is a month to learn about your money and how to deal with whatever challenges or opportunities your own money is providing. The other thing with illumination is it's a great time to be seen. So like I said, if you're trying to find something new, you may be surprised at all of the options that you have. Um, so look at them very well and absolutely try to put your, your resume out if you're not happy because I see it as a very good month to sort of like strike the job market. Uh, so let's take a look at love. And we have interesting one here, which is saying, look within. We got a yoga card for love. Yoga, I should look at the definition, but I think it means like a union between um, yourself and God or yourself and the universe. It kind of goes back to what we're saying. Um, this is saying go within. It doesn't matter so much about what, I mean, but yoga is a connection with you and with, with the universe. So I want you to turn the love towards yourself this month. Um, again, if you, if you enjoy dating, date by all, by all means. But if you're in a relationship or if you're single, the thing that could actually benefit you the most this month is to take some time to clear your mind, to love yourself, to work on yourself, to work on something about yourself, whether it is your own uh, general health, your own, your own education, um, or just spending some quiet time doing something that you love, because then when you spend time with your partner, with your coworkers, and with your family, you're going to be much more centered and able to kind of deal with perhaps some of their uneasiness this month. A lot of times when that card comes through, it's because other challenges will present themselves and the more relaxed you are, the more able you are to sort of, sort of go with the ebbs and flows. All right, and now finally, when we look at your destiny card, something that you can always change that's always malleable, by the way. Let's see what you have. This is saying pay close attention to your emotions this month. and. I didn't really read the final card as a possible depression card, but for some of you that have a history of um, ups and downs, emotional illness, etc., I want you to be aware of what the triggers are so that you can, um, you can deal with whatever challenges come your way. And for those of you that don't have a family history, then what this means is there can be some challenges that are going to push your buttons this month. Uh, and so. The key here is to not let the emotional sort of or chemical effect that happens within your, your brain and also your body override your common sense or, or make you sort of go down a decision path that later you could question. So that's why we get this a couple of really meditative cards here. One showing just to calm down, pay attention, go inward, forgive yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. And this one is saying that alternative medicine, prayer, connection with the universe is going to be very good for you. So um, I think that everybody, whether or not there's, you've had challenges in the, in the past with depression, uh, this is a good month to do things that bring you joy and to be cognizant that you're not perfect, nobody is. And if you ease up and forgive yourself, it's going to feel a little bit better. You may need help from others, but, uh, but I feel like this is something you can manage, okay? Overall, a really good reading. As we sort of go back to the beginning here, tenacity is making more sense. Tenacity meaning you're strong enough and you can push through some of the emotional challenges that may happen this month. Tenacity is showing that your, how close your understanding and dealing with your, mo uh, your money situation is really going to depend on how how your mind over matter is going to affect things here. So if you think to yourself, I am successful, I'm going to do better than I've done, and I'm going to have enough, it starts to open up things around you. If you think, I'm bad with money, I'll probably lose my job, um, things never work out, people pick up on that. So I want you to focus on the positive stuff and work on educating yourself and, and feel like you can manage your money, because I think you can. Um, the scales are showing to find balance, and as we look at what's out of balance this month, it looks like the biggest thing can be emotional stability, uh, which could be sort of interrupted by anything that's going on with a legal case or with a breakup. <coughs> Excuse me. And the other thing that could be a little challenging for some of you is all of the options that you're being presented with. Don't let things get away from you this month. 
So keep a to-do list, make sure that you're not missing something. And I think that's going to be what really keeps you on track and feeling like you have control over everything. Remember, your sign is very good with dealing with practical things. So if you have a, a plan of where you're going next, then I, I think you're gonna be in a good place. All right, I hope this was helpful. As always, it really is my honor to be able to read for you and I appreciate the fact that you come to me. Uh, so there's so many options out there. So anyway, if, if you'd like to stay in touch, the best way to do that is to hit subscribe on this channel. So please feel free to do that. And uh, otherwise, I do have a newsletter and I try to send out a note as soon as I post videos here. So I'll put a note in the corner or you can click on the info tab and there'll be a, a way to subscribe or connect on social media. And that also includes Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Finally, but most importantly, thank you. Thank you for um, allowing me to talk to you for all the comments that you guys give me each month. Thank, I really appreciate the likes, the subscribes, and the encouragement. Please keep that up and it, it helps me sort of understand that there is a connection between what I'm doing and maybe you feeling like there's something improving in your life. So it really helps to hear that. Uh, and on that note, if you felt that this was helpful, I also, I'll put a link at the end uh, where you can do a donation, which is completely optional, but I, I like to put it there in case you want to give back. Uh, otherwise, I will see you again in one month's time. I wish you all the best. Satnam and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.